Possible, but I ate too much candy. I'm full of candy here, so yes. Without candy, how are you gonna save anyone without candy? Do you have candy? We had lots of candy in Five Tropolis, but not anymore. How are you gonna save anyone without candy? Let's trade cards. Sometimes I feel like it's my soul. Purpose in life. <laughs> puppies, kittens, rainbows. Um, puppies on rainbows. I heard they have unicorn ponies in Six Town. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm Nanny Fortuna's favourite, so I'm the most important kid. Yes, it is good for me. I always knew I was a sixer, and finally, the rest of the world is acting like it. Honestly, some of the kids here, you can put them in a sixer uniform, but you can't change who they are, and... Wait a minute. Even? Even! It's me, Lucky from One Town! What are you doing here? From what? We 
we're gonna be sixes even. For real! Who'd want to be saved from that? Wait a second. You're not even twelve yet. You're too young to be here. You're an imposter. You don't belong here, Wanna. You don't deserve to be here. It's against the rules. I'm telling. Nanny. Nanny for Tuna. Nanny for Tuna. Whoa! What? No! Hey, dice! Impossible! The queen destroyed them all! Where did you find that? Tell me! No, you tell me where my sister is, you witch! Oh! <laughs> you are the sister, aren't you? All alone, far from her.
Two sisters, both alike in dignity. But within one woman lies dark malignity. Fun in games till one is gone. Some creeping darkness make me spawn. Retributions to change the past. New rules to make the present last. Death and ruin for those who oppose. As went the sister, so the whole world goes. You can, and you will. The sacrifice is necessary. But I don't want to. The dice demands it. Sometimes we must set aside what we want, in order to get what we need. Push her over, Odd. Push her over, or I'll let the dice decide whether you should take her place! Odd, please. I'm sorry I was mean to you, and your sister. Odd. Please, you can't do this, you can't! You're running out of time, Odd! Why do you, why did you do Dicey? Dicey! Even knew she had to find her missing friend. She gathered her courage, squared her shoulders, and I just want to go home. <sighs> and realized that she just wanted to go home. Oh, but home was very far away. She had no idea how to get there. when you need it. Dicey?
even found herself approaching the edge of Vorburg, or rather, the silent remains of that once glorious city. The queen had torn it to pieces during the war, years ago, in her mad search for something. The only trace of it at all were the ruined and lifeless stones, shrouded in fog, lost to memory. To even, it was like an impossible vision. Something she could scarcely believe. A rebuilt foretown, squatting by the ruins of what came before. A city without history, but who called it home? What you got? Someone told me Paul may sound a real dog. Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, foreburners and foreigners, I present to you for the first time on the casino main stage a real Unleash upon these fighting grounds? What rules and norms will it tear asunder as its true power is finally unleashed? There's only one way to find out <laughs> when I roll them bones! Why isn't it doing anything? Come on, give it a kick! <laughs> Worthless! Dicey! I'm not leaving here without you, Dicey. Leave him alone. This dice is under my protection. Ah, what a fine job you've been doing of it too. But I am always up for a gamble.
that this wasn't even a dice after all. What we have here is just a broken old jack-in-the-box. <laughs> He's mine. Give him back. You want this garbage back? Yes, and he's not garbage. Well, go get it. I should have never put you in danger. We don't belong here and I just, I just want to go home. Did someone say, smuggle me home? Because you, little lady, are in the presence of Ludo Betts, the greatest person smuggler in all of random. Y you trust me, right? I could ask you the same thing. Let's just say I'm old enough to be great at it and young enough that nobody suspects me. You see, I've got my bag. Top of the line, nothing so fine, purely benign. It's bigger on the inside. Me and my brother can fit anyone inside. Uh, well, I'm sorry, I mean I can. My brother, Bruno, I lost him to the high roller. Who I'm betting you know. We gambled, we lost, and now he owns him. And you, well, you've got yourself a real dice. Which means you have a real chance to free Bruno. Do that and I'll be real motivated to do you a favour in turn. Because you don't have enough pips. Any fool can see that. Look, the high roller seems all high and mighty, but he's got a weakness. It's in his name. Roll a higher number than his and he'll lose everything. You just gotta fix your dice up. And you're gonna let that stand? Take revenge, show him who's boss, solve both our problems in one fell swoop. Fix your dice and beat the high roller. Then you'll save Bruno and I swear on my eyes that I'll let you inside my bag. And me and my brother will take you anywhere you want. Anywhere. Even had no idea where she could find more darts for her dice. So she fell back to exploring. It had gotten her this far, at least, which 
if we're being precise, is to a point where she no longer wanted to explore. Uh, look, uh, life's complicated sometimes. I came here to escape having to work on the upside down. Not sure if it was worth it, but <laughs> it's too late now. Make yourself comfortable, kid. Well, I came from one town village with my family. Oh. I think there's some people here who don't care about that dicey I think there's some people here who don't care about anything Any good coach or is lately? Yeah, mate. This tree.
I won again? <laughs> Talk about beginner's luck. Seymour, what are you doing here? Hey, even. <laughs> Sorry, guys, uh, I gotta bounce. <laughs> My friend, it's good to see you. <laughs> Made it to Forberg, huh? Hey, how goes the brave quest? I'm, I'm heading home, Seymour. But I don't see your sister with you. She's, uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing anymore, Seymour. <laughs> I'm, st I'm starting to think I don't even know who Odd is. Maybe I never did. Maybe it was a mistake to look up to her, to anyone. We all just... We all disappoint other people, don't we? And here I am disappointing you. Hmm. Alright, so you want to go home. Let's start there. You are certain about this? It's fine, even. We don't always get to be certain when we make decisions, but if you want to go now, even if you're not certain, I can still help you. It's okay to want to go home. It's okay to feel lost or be lost and to just take things one step at a time. Do you know your way back? I will say this, for a woman who seems so disheartened and pessimistic, you've certainly had a lot of success meeting people and securing passage. <laughs> Thank the dice makers for their foresight for that then. Uh, I'd bring you myself, if I could. I'm uh, kind of lost myself. <laughs> One of the Bag Brothers? Yeah, I've met him. Mighty sure of himself, that guy. A little too sure, if you ask me. I heard he gambled away his brother, Bruto. Poor kid. Or kids. <laughs> Let me guess. You need to get his brother back from the high roller. Yeah? And the high roller only ever rolls fours. So if you could roll a five. Even. Easy, easy. I was just getting that part. Here, pass the little guy over. So we just add in the dots he had in two town. And now the extra dots you found back in three dumb. And... Ta-da! <laughs> Meet your new improved, more repaired, Dicey. Now you can roll up to... Hey, oh, hmm, hey, hmm. Oh, um, four, which is still not enough to beat the high roller. Sorry, even. Well, I know where you could find some more dots, but... Uh, forget I said anything. Uh, it's dangerous. There's no guarantee of success. Fine, fine, just don't tell her I'm the one who sent you. Even, go to the soothsayer tents and ask about Uma. Very discreetly. It's not a name you'd throw around just anywhere. And good luck. I'm rooting for you. <clears throat> don't get eaten. The bag brother. Yeah, he was a little shifty. But it's not like we have a lot of options, Dicey. Look, do you have a better idea? <sighs> I'm sorry, Dicey. This town is having an effect on me. Look, let's let's do what we can.
you don't even know what you're walking into, do you? you Can I interest you in a delightful new rug? Uh, no thanks. I was wondering if you could direct me to Uma. Step inside, child. This rug, this rug is very nice. Ooh, it shows real promise, don't you think? Huh. On the other hand, it is still missing some threads. But I have many rugs here. Which ones are you interested in? Ah, yes, the red one. Every time I look at that rug, I think of a poor woman here who loves her partner so much that he's become her whole world, leaving no room in it for herself. Oh, she searches for him near Four Horsemen's Corner. The blue one, a fine choice. <laughs> there are a pair of best friends in this city, or rather, there were, until that friendship was fractured. One of them lives alone near Dice Maker Square. I wonder if that friendship could ever be restored. The purple rug, yes, a personal favorite. You know, the queen, she'd have us believe we're all different, that we need to hate each other. But within us is a light we all share. He is in trouble in one of the foreman's arenas. None that will affect you, young dice wielder. I can tell you nothing else. You want to find Uma, yes? Then go and keep your dice friend close. Hmm? Ooh, that strange rug seller seemed to know more than she was letting on. Also, I didn't even know she'd be here, so that's weird and spooky. For now, Even had little choice but to seek out those people she'd mentioned, and hope that when she'd returned, Uma would be there too. Dicey. It's like this city is a last resort for everyone here. Well, there was one good thing here, at least. Her dislike of the High Roller is making even more than motivated to find a way to take him down and earn passage in the bag out of here. You don't even know what you're walking into,
A game arena is now accepting new challenges. cheating out of our system now, so we're good. That's the spirit! Okay, so you know how to play Gazoo, so we'll just jump right into it. I'll roll the dice, Sam. Gazoo! Ha! <laughs> Imagine a game that simple. Okay, your turn. Yeah. <laughs> Your own rigged dice, you mean? No, you're gonna roll one of our wee little dice, thank you very much. Yeah! Zoo! What? You can't yell kazoo now unless you're cheating! Hey, do you have a kazoo card up your sleeve? We haven't even distributed cards yet. Hmm, should have known a friend of Seymour would cheat like he did. Wait, Seymour cheated? I thought you cheated. Seymour's cheat was to frame me for cheating. Ah, uh, my brain. I can't believe what? No, I'm pretty sure you Hey, it's you That's the spirit of Gazoo Ha! <laughs> Imagine a game that simple. Okay, your turn. And like any true gamer, you're gonna roll the house dice, kid. Game Zoo! It's, uh, not, 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 not bad. Dang, what's your wager? Impossible. Oh, you can't. I roll for initiative. And? And? You win. Wait, what? Ooh, uh, nicely done. Ah, shoot. Okay, well, fair's fair. I guess this card is yours then. Not that it's of any use to you. You'd have to have a living dice for that to work. <laughs> what? Did that dice just say kazoo? Okay, okay, easy, Quark. Goodbye, little miss. I don't like losing, so we're not playing with you anymore. of a girl who wants to trade cards. <laughs> Welcome to... F hey, mate, why so glum? We found each other and now we can talk and... Now listen, mate, I know things get bleak sometimes, but things... Oh, anyway, enough about me feeling sad. You know what I'd rather feel? I'd rather feel cards in my hands as we...
man. That was the man who'd thrown even in the garbage in Two Town. He was a jerk. And even had to help him all the same. Make your way to the top in order to win. is blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance. Adversary has been defeated. The playing piece can now advance. Thank you. 
Shredder to the board game. The playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance. enemy has been defeated. The playing piece may advance. Durability bubble has appeared. The playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Defeat the adversary to advance.
The playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance. The board game is nearing its end. Soon we shall have a winner. Blocking adversary has been defeated. The playing piece can now advance.
comes more treasure. somewhere, don't I? Right, that's where we met. <laughs> For you are garbage, and from garbage you shall return. Am I right? <laughs> uh, oh, this is awkward, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Mr. Lunchbox, me old eye poking friend. Well, I'm a fair sight. I'm glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy! Hey, uh, After I tossed you aside, uh, you kept on doing things in Two Town, didn't you? And then you ended up destroying the Big Bad Royum. Am I right? So now the Queen's top servant in all of Two Town is dead. And I'm the one who could have stopped you from entering the town, but sorta of didn't. So I'm the one she's gonna come after. So I fled, but now I'm here. And life's not great, yeah, and my life started getting worse right after I met you, yeah? <laughs> Man, I don't hate you. Honest, I don't. I want that queen gone. And I think you're the one who's come closer than any of us ever did. And I can tell you don't think much of me, and I guess I don't fault you for that, but I'm glad you saved me all the same. So here, I don't have money, but I do have this lucky thread. I have a feeling you could uh, use all the luck you can get. <laughs> See you around, kid. Mr. Lunchbox. Huh. Even had helped someone who'd done nothing but be mean to her, and been shown kindness in exchange. <laughs> it's always nice when things work out that way. Even if the reward she was given was a um, short length of unremarkable and apparently useless purple thread. in trouble. I'm the narrator, so I'm allowed to just tell you things like that. She was definitely in a lot of trouble. And unless she tore them down, those posters were going to make things worse. Unwanted. You'd better watch out for yourself. That dice you've got could get you some unwanted attention. Keep it? 
Why would you want to keep it? Nanny. Probably in disguise. She could be anywhere. Gorgash, go. Kena, Kamoene, Kasko Kamara, he get in a lacone, eh? Ah, Keskamane, Heno, Nanga, Dakimnat, Oke, Dyk, Nosnik, Dog, Malamene, Das, Dakapoine, Narmene, Kena Hana, Narmene, Dakimnat, Dog, Das, Kena, Wara, Kemunane. Oh, give Go, came as Gamane. Quark, it's gonna hey. Gask, you're a hail now. Go, it's not honey. Oh, it's scary, Garno. Oh, God, it's kind of hot. Dark and meowne. Go, gosh, like Kano. Malamani, go, Oga, das, Nanga, the Capoin, Nosnik, Penenast, Rak, Gamnaf, Ah, Ogos, Gamena, Ah, Gogos, Bak, the Haina, Kuske, Norne Homer, Gora, Hane, Ah. She doesn't even look like me. Well, they did do your square shape justice. Have you seen my boyfriend? He's perfect. Oh, well, let me tell you about him. His hair like the hair of the gods, and his cheeks like the cheeks of the gods, and his shoulders. No, like the very shoulders of the gods. The man is perfect. I think about him all the time. Nothing, only him. It's because we're in love. Have you seen him? Last I heard, he wants to challenge one of the foreman's game arenas, but that seems like days ago. Could you deliver a message to him for me? You're a peach. Tell him I love him and that he's perfect. And if he wants ground steak for dinner, to let me know so I can start preparing the fixing. But if he wants chicken breasts for dinner, I can do that too. But just let me know so I can start preparing the fixing and ask him what he wants me to wear tonight. And tell him if he doesn't like my hairstyle to just let me know and I'll get it cut before he gets home. Okay? You've got all that? I need to be his own person. Okay, bye. Thanks for delivering my message. An arena is now available for battle.
Beer card enthusiast. Living store at your service. as many globes as you can into the hole in order to lower the ladder and get to your goal.
way there. Have you? Have you found him? Have you found my guiding star, my prince? A letter? Let me see. Dear? Oh, he calls me dear. And then he goes on to say that the longer... Uh... That the longer we were married, the more I became just a reflection of him. And he a reflection of me. He goes on to say that I'm not the woman I fell in love with. And he's not the man he used to be either. And that we both deserve better. We deserve to be full people. He then says this isn't healthy. That he needs to find time apart to rediscover who he is. And he hopes I'd do the same. Oh, oh no. He's gone. He's gone and he's not coming back. I've lost everything. I don't want me, I want him! But then again, maybe all hope isn't lost. Maybe if I did what he said, if I try to figure out who I am when I'm by myself, if I rediscover who I used to be and truly am and break free of obsession and idolatry and become a fully realized person again, then maybe he'll take me back. It's the right one for me. Yes, I can do this. 
I can achieve self-realization for love. Let me give you this. It's a red band. I was going to give it to him, but I want to give it to you instead for all your help. And when you look at it, you can remember me and him and us. Oh, dear. <clears throat> well, even had helped a lovesick woman realize she was worth more than just idolatry. And the red thread she'd been given must have a use somewhere, right? Better watch out yourself. That dice you've got can get you some unwanted. Hello there. That's a fine dice you've got there. Reminds me of QB. He. Well, he was. There was a time when he was. Me and QB. She was my dice. We did everything together, fought for people too. Not like heroes, but we did good where we could. It was a good life, and and then the No Dice War came to town, and there was a big climactic fight at the Quarterstone Arena, and, you know, we rolled a... oh, and we lost, and afterwards, I couldn't face that, face her. The Queen completely destroyed this once majestic town. You can see the rubble now and think you can imagine what the city was like, but, but you can't. This here used to be a place of honor and honesty, of music and magic. We rebuilt, but we lost so much. It, it's not the same. The new Forberg, it's twisted reflection of what was. <laughs> After that, QB and I went our separate ways. I thought so often trying to find her, but as time went on, it just seemed bigger and bigger until, until it was simply too much to apologize for. And so I never have. No, no, I couldn't. I can't. You'd better watch out yourself. That dice you've got could get you some unwanted attention. How? Find QB, enter the arena and win the fight I never could. It'd only be a symbolic victory anyway. The Queen's too strong now. But, but it would be a black eye for her. Yes, she hates people messing with her rules. If you could win that arena fight, that would put a smile on my face. You know, I don't even know your name, but I like your attitude. And if you do decide to face that arena, then I wish you luck. The game arena is now ready for new challenges.
Drink your carbs. I know you too.
game is almost over, but who will win? Have you... have you won the fight? And... you're here, and you're alive, so clearly you won the fight! Which is incredible! The Queen's reaction when she finds out, oh, this brings a huge smile to my face! How do you do it? Oh... oh no... no... my poor little girl... I should have been there for you. She was always the best of us. I... I should be more like her. I'm going to bury her. I'm going to give her peace, and then I'm going to make peace with my own past too, you know? I can't forgive myself for my mistakes, but I can learn from them. That's what she would have wanted. Not, not for me to be sad, but to celebrate our friendship, to celebrate what it stood for. Here, I want you to have this. A friendship bracelet that QB made for me once. I, I think she would have wanted you to have it. I don't need blue thread to remind me of what we shared. She lives in me now, and if I could give you some advice... the bond you and your dice share. It's important and the friendship will define both your lives. Don't let anyone keep you apart. You belong together. Even had brought closure to the old dice wielder and in doing so given him new motivation for his future. The blue thread in her hand seemed to pulsate with warm magic. It was oddly comforting actually.
You don't even know what you're walking into. Ah, you've returned, young one. How does fate find you today? Let me see, young one. Ah, the purple thread from your enemy. You have a dice, and you have to decide what you'll do with that power. And you saved someone who'd done you harm didn't you? Oh, it seems to me, at least in that moment, you thought everyone might deserve a second chance. Hmm? And this blue thread from the two friends. Not a happy story there, with a friendship and a dice both dead. But... There's some joy in it, too, isn't there? The old dice wielder made peace with his past, and in doing so, found a new motivation for the present. And this red thread from the woman in love. One can never fully depend on someone for one's own happiness. Isn't that true? We can't lose ourselves in someone else. We have to be our own people, no matter how much we idolize someone. Well, enough of that. Let's see what happens when these threads combine. <laughs> Ah, look at that. How beautiful it is when the weave comes together. <sighs> You're a long way from one town, young one. You are lost, but you haven't realized yet that your story goes on whether you care or not. Look, um, I'm glad you like your rug, but I'm, I'm really just looking for someone named Uma. If you are so certain that is what you want, look here. Closer. But it's just a rug. I don't see anything. Sometimes, to see things as they truly are, we must look within. Long ago, in the land of Random, there was a wonderful witch and a terrible queen. And everyone had a dice with which they could control their destinies. The witch, with her magical dots, gave every dice tremendous power. It was chaotic, but fair. Horrible, but beautiful. It was life. Your kind is so small, 
and your lives so short, it does sometimes feel silly to learn them. In the before times, I produced the pips for the dice of old. Every dot on them came from me, and it gave them great power. There were many of us then. The Queen killed us all. All except me. Because I hid. For years. Decades. And now you dare to disturb me. Perhaps. Perhaps. But every story, and every dice, has multiple sides. You are worthy of keeping some of my children. That's you, Dicey. If only to cause that horrible queen some headache. She hates that there's another dice in random, and I love it. Only if you believe her to be. What is it you want? You are like a dot on a dice, only a small part of the larger whole. You've been having dreams, even. But they only show you part of the future. Dreams and destiny are woven together, but all is not as it seems. The last dice has not yet been rolled. You were lost here, lost in random, but a fact remains. Sometimes you have to lose your way in order to find your way. I will give you the dots you and Dicey need. Your eyes are closing. Your eyes are opening. <gasps> Thank you, Uma.
Raven's ordeal was finally over. She could finally repair Dicey and leave Four Town behind her. Which is great because, quite frankly, I find this whole town to be unsettling and unpredictable. That's right. Even narrators have opinions sometimes. You'll like it. Home's not like this. The people there, they they haven't lost hope. At least, I never noticed if they had. Oh, you're here! You're safe! Oh, I'm so relieved. A little, but it's a good surprise. It's just... It's usually a 50-50 chance Uma eats a visitor. She must have seen something in you she liked more than just the marrow in your bones. <laughs> and you've got the pips! Oh, with this, I can give Dicey a mighty five! All you need to enter that final arena to battle the foreman and his high rolls! Are you ready? Before you answer, know that things might get, uh, dicey as soon as you have a five. <laughs> <clears throat> There'll be no going back. So you tell me, kid. Do we do this or no? High five. Okay. Just gotta add the pips. Easy. Easy. And... to gamble. She thinks all she needs is a dice to beat me. I had a nightmare last night, you know. I lost a bet, but when I woke up, I knew that was impossible because the high roller never loses.
You can be the poor man, you can you can be the high fire roller, just don't kill me, please, please! Brother! 
Polito, my brother. Oh, I knew you'd gamble me back. You saved him even, and in exchange I promised you a trip through the bag. And Bruno can tell you I'm as good as my word. Oh, he is that. There, she's all yours. <laughs> There was an awkward pause, and I felt compelled to fill it. I know, Dicey. I think we may have made a mistake. Well, you see, I, I jumped into the bag uh, to see if the story of the Bag Brothers was true. It was. The Bag Brothers killed me for my jewelry. Oh, you're new here. I'm sorry. The Bag Brothers didn't have to. All they had to do was trap us here. The Bag did the rest. You don't know the story, do you? Don't blame yourself. They lie to everyone. They are brothers, and they weren't always this way. Long ago, they ventured deep into a forest to a place none had gone before. Some say they disturbed some great evil there. They found this bag resting on a stump in a clearing. Or it found them. 
It's bottomless, you know. But it hates itself. It wants to be full. The bag twisted the brothers. It changed them, possessed them, made them hungry for more and more. The bag demanded they fill it with whatever they could find. First dirt, then rocks. But once the bag got a taste for flesh, Look if you want, you'll only find more sorrow. There's nothing that any of us can't... Uh, uh, what's that? Oh no. Oh no! They're coming! They're coming! Your bones, even. It wants your soul. I can shut up any time it wants. Just makes your life worse! <sighs> 